It's the day of the boss raid. An actual Fallout raid. Like it's some sort of MMO right now. It's getting hype. My man Subaru learned from the mistakes. He was not blinded by the wrath. He understood the art of the deal taught by Anastasia. Being prepared already, you know, winning the negotiation before it starts, dangling what the opposing side wants in front of them and securing a deal. Fantastic. We got bailed out by the, you know, the coincidence of Wilhelm having a revenge for the White Whale. But obviously, Subaru didn't understand the connection of previous sourcing being slayed by the White Whale and Wilhelm being a Von Austria. We knew, but obviously, Subaru didn't know. So, got kind of lucky, but it's totally fine. Now, the war is start- it's not a war, it's a raid right now. Wilhelm? <sighs> How hype is this guy gonna be? The- the people that I'm most excited to see fight right now is Mimi, definitely, because how cute Mimi is. Wilhelm and, uh, Krush, because Krush says she's gonna actually participate in battle too. Well, let's begin today's reaction. This is looking like a flashback. This is 100% a flashback. Sword? Is this Wilhelm? Is, is this Wilhelm in his prime? Is that you, Wilhelm? I can't tell. He's such a fucking Isekai MC. Look, look at Ikemen, dude. Ikemen, he's so hot. Teresia. Red hair? Von Austria. Teresia. Sword Saint? What is a woman doing out this early? <laughs> kind of a misogynist. No, I'm just kidding. Teresia. She likes the flowers, right? Does she have the best view of the flower bed right now? During sunrise? It's gotta be the flowers, right? Yes. Yes. Bro, I'm telling you, at the end of this, we bring Wilhelm to the flower bed where we took Amelia for the date in the hidden part in our village in Roswell's, you know, domain, and then put a flower crown on Wilhelm, and Wilhelm will literally start crying and saying, thank you, bro. Hanawa. <laughs> If you're a flower, then yes. Boom! Rizzed. <sighs> Prime Wilhelm, baby. Rizzed. Flower Rizzed. Sword Saint Rizzed, bro. But yeah, the flashback before the battle. The death flags are insane for Wilhelm right now. Bro literally said, now I can finally meet you, right? After this or some shit. It's just like, oh, fuck me, Wilhelm. Please survive. Please survive. <laughs> And then Krush becomes more calmed down and says, Chase after those idiots! Natsuki Subaru pose! What the fuck kind of weapon is that? It's like light cannons? They're using the crystals, right? And then, like, the crystals are gathering, like, light. I don't fucking know. Cool. Night Banisher. It's called a Night Banisher? This is... Flare. Oh, it banishes the night. A literal flare to make this daylight? Is that what this is? Boom. Night Banisher. What's the whale thinking? Is it intelligence? <laughs> Just with the shout. Just with the fucking shout. Ew. Ew. We got to see a close up of the fucking. Ew. What? Ew. There's so many of those things. He fucking creeped out, bro. But just getting the full POV of the whale right now. Yes. Super did declare that this is the moment that he'll awaken into a hero, man. Like, if he actually accomplishes this, the dude that mobilized the forces to take down the white whale that's been like causing havoc on the kingdom of Lugunica for the last 400 years. I think that he could have a claim to be an actual fucking hero. I know he didn't do it alone, but still, you know? It's so mobile! Win 
magic? Krush? Blade is out. Krush's blade is out. Was that Krush right there? What the fuck was that? Was that wind magic? Dude, her land dragon is so majestic too. A phantom sword with no regard for reins. What the fuck is this weapon? She was clutching at that hilt last episode, right? I saw the symbol of it. I'm like, it must be an OP sword. It, it, ha it you, so you just do this and win it's got gets potential. No range, don't care, it'll fucking hit. Sword arts. 100 man strike. Are you taking damage? The soundtrack is so lit. They literally said, get the fuck out of the way. Get the fuck out of the way. The game plan is send Wilhelm. Oh my god. Dude, this is like unbelievably hype. Do you understand? Like, like you have an entire army. You're like, all right, this is the plan. Get out of the way, Wilhelm Solo. He's coming in! How strong is he? Long years. Even an intro speech! What's he gonna do? been gonna fight against a fucking flying whale bro literally jumped on it just soloed it ran across it yeah he's a van austria yeah he had the previous sword saint or sword demon you know title for a bit holy shit he doesn't disappoint and and this is not prime wilhelm right this dude is literally retired in his like 70s or something and he's still this hard holy shit <laughs> Clutch! Ricardo! Ricardo! <laughs> Mimi! <laughs> Cat Squad, let's go! Phantom Sword! <laughs> Interesting. Al Goa here, but Roswell used Ul Goa. So I'm gonna assume Ul Goa. Goa is like fire magic. Al, it might be like medium fire. Is Ul Goa like strong high fire? Ah! Whoa. What a peak fucking raid, man. And do you know why this is not good? If you've seen enough Beyblade, you would know. If you've seen any other battle shonens in a mini fight or tournament arc, you know. Anyone that gets an early lead? It's a bad sign. <laughs> early lead is never a good thing. If you get an early lead, then you need to close the fight off immediately and it's like a power, like a demonstration of power and you immediately win. But if it stalls out, <laughs> it's like, oh, oh. Guys, don't smile just yet. <laughs> chill, chill. <laughs> no, stop it. Don't, don't. Yeah. <laughs> Even Subaru himself, I think we can pull this off. Arc 1 Subaru would literally say, Hey, hey, wait a minute. You're throwing a flag right now. You're jinxing it, you know? Where's the awareness right now, bro? Yeah. It would ground it, but it's still flying. <laughs> yeah, it's still flying, man. Oh. <laughs> we used everything? <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> So you tell me we just blew our entire wad and now our plan failed because it's still flying and we're cooked? <laughs> Very durable. The white hair scatters mana and neutralize. Oh, the individual hair like follicles we saw before when it was giving a whole camera angle. That literally just like is not really anti mana but scatters it and neutralizes force. <laughs> Those things. That's OP. What the fuck? <laughs> 
Very durable. All right, keep at it. Just send Wilhelm in again. Damn. Okay. Yo, the mounts that we're riding so clutch. Phoenix. Just healing. True. Not really one day, but pretty much. I mean, to everyone else, it must seem crazy, huh? Because, like, one day ago, this dude... Like, one day ago, Julius was beating her ass, right? Pretty much. Or maybe not. I, I don't exactly know, but, like... If you think about everyone in this timeline's perspective, Subaru, after getting his ass beat by Julius, is suddenly so enlightened and, like, you know, way better. Because, obviously, we have multiple tries, but... It is always interesting to think from the perspective of other characters in successful runs, because to them... Subaru must seem like the most insanely mature, competent person ever. Because he just seems to fucking figure it out every time. Like, like, truly, if you think about it from the perspective of those people again, where we don't, we witness every failure, they only see the success. <laughs> well, <I'm going> in. <laughs> this dude is just mowing the grass. He literally runs with the fucking blade on the fucking grass. <laughs> That's so high. And the craziest thing, he's got multiple blades. He only is using one blade right now. He's got multiple blades. He has six fucking blades, bro. Nice one, nice one. Come on. Come on. It doesn't matter what the outcome of this battle is. My expectation, like, I, I was expecting a lot of Wilhelm. This is surpassing it. The Von Austrias are just fucking insane. And this is a person that even married into it, not even fucking Reinhardt, bro. This dude's performance so far is already satisfactory, beyond satisfactory. Ew. Nice. Okay, both eyes are injured. Now what? Miserable. Wait. Phase two. In any raid. In any raid. Just when you think you beat the boss. Phase two in raised berserk mode. You know. Oh, did he only get one eye? My bad. He only got one eye. He only got one eye. Okay, he's mad. Yeah, he's mad. He, he mad. He mad. Yeah. I mean, this isn't a bad thing. It's a natural progression of the raid. This had to happen one way or the other. Okay, so far, Wilhelm, I think is doing like 70% of the work right now. In terms of like a DPS, let's, let's think about a DPS parse right now in a raid. Is anyone a sweaty parser in raids? I think Wilhelm definitely number one DPS. Number two, maybe it's the combined efforts of the military and the light cannons. I think Crucius attacks were pretty significant. Me, um, I, I think Ricardo and the, the Karagi's private army probably above Crucius two attacks, but definitely Wilhelm just like hard carrying the DPS right right now. What's it doing? What's it doing? Ooh. Oh, it's mad. <laughs> I mean, shit, we had like a Night Banisher. We came prepared with a Night Banisher, but there's no fucking Fog Banisher. Like, the, there's no, like, you would think that there's ways that we would have thought about in, cause like a Fog is such an integral characteristics of the White Whale. Like there's no counter Fog strat. <laughs> Top of the Flugel Tower though. You know, the tree was apparently so high up that it pierced, seems to pierce the heavens. I mean, it's still, still, you know, above the fog. That's cool. All right, flashback again. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Elriz, Elriz Wilhelm. All I have. 
So, uh, my interpretation of Wilhelm uh, last episode when they said that he took up the sword, he he had to get stronger than Teresia to take the title away. I thought that he was never even doing sword shit and just picked it up, but it looks like he was always the way of the sword. Oh, got it. You know what? Flashback before phase two is so bad. <laughs> That's a death flag. <laughs> We're not even retreating right. Maybe the best course of action here is for Subaru to AoE taunt and run a different direction as fast as possible and everyone else retreat also and regroup outside of the fog. Is that a breath attack? It is. Didn't realize I could do that. Magic fog breath attack? Holy shit. Nice, push. Damn, we really didn't have an anti-fog strat, though, huh? Ah, it doesn't matter. Who gives a fuck? Is Wilhelm still here? That's all that matters. Damn. This is the distinction. This is it. Because remember what we said about memory forgetting people? The whale just showed us a fog attack. If you get hit by that fog attack, then you are forgotten? Is that what they're trying to show us right now? Because these dudes, I don't know who was lost. I don't know. But you would know if it's your fucking men, right? Huh? Okay, 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 okay. okay, okay. The erasure. Exactly. <laughs> This punch will always be funny to me because of how absurd it is. Because like, like 10 seconds ago, we're talking about Ren and I was like, who's Ren? <laughs> Honestly, like, like this shit's so funny because like Oto gets punched and then Oto also just pushes Subaru out the cart too. That whole cart run, bro, was comical. It was sad. It was very fucked up. But there was something so funny about him rage punching and also Oto just pushing Subaru out the fucking cart, bro. <laughs> The fog attacks. Yes. Don't get it by the fog. Fog of elimination. Ooh, so chuny, super. Remember when you said, "I will name this ability Return by Death." <laughs> Quite chuny of me, but now he's just so engrossed into the isekai world, even naming this shit like this, he does not cringe out by it. Fog of elimination. New terminology acquired. Okay, Wilhelm's still alive. That's all that matters. Whole platoon just wiped. We don't even know who we lost. Man, that's so fucked up. You can't even honor them. Because you don't even remember them. And think about this. For 400 years, there's been so many casualties. Last episode, there was a mention in the speech where there's so much death that we don't even know how to, like, you know, celebrate their deaths or remember them. But, like, when it's even more fucked because they forget who they lost, too. So the casualty, technically, it's beyond what anyone could ever imagine, right? Because everyone forgets. How could you possibly even keep check of that, let alone, like, all the other names? Backstory again. It's all I have. What are you trying to protect? Wilhelm, my man, live. <laughs> Spread out. <laughs> Thank you, Lily, for the sub. I appreciate that. But this fucking scream, bro. What is this shit? <laughs> what the whale? Genjutsu? Mind break? Mind attacks? Genjutsu. Oh, they're scratching their faces out. Oh, everyone is like scratching themselves to death. This guy's foaming out the mouth. This is a new fucking mind, like Genjutsu illusion mind attack? Even Rem? The voice is the fog. But Subaru is unaffected. Because he has the witch's miasma. Another moment where Satella's love for Subaru is coming in clutch, just like how he's able to see the unseen hand. Is he able to not get affected by this because of the witch's miasma? This is something only Subaru can do. Mana sickness. And you got it, bro. Yeah, go clutch, dude. 
Yeah, Phoenix, what are you doing? <laughs> Just realize, Phoenix literally was like, well, I don't have attacks, so all I can do is stare. Everyone's having a fucking mental breakdown. The one fucking healer that probably might have, like, cleansing of debuffs is just sitting there. <laughs> Felix, what are you doing? Yeah. I don't know. Felix, heal. Nice. Nice cleanse. Bald. See, what are we gonna do? I can return by death. Taunt? Oh, my man going in. My man going in. Let's go, Rem. Glaze. Let's go. Also, it's it's not just Natsuki Subaru that's unaffected by this, right? Apparently, some people are less affected by it. But, like, Krush doesn't seem to be really affected by it as much. But, like, maybe there's some sort of, like, hockey tolerance. You know, like, Conqueror's hockey? Some people, if you don't have the willpower, you fucking just, like, fall. So maybe there is a little bit of that mental resistance, but I still want to believe that the Witch's Miasma is the reason why Subaru is unaffected by this. But then again, Subaru's mental, like, he is very resistant, right? Like, he has gone through hell over and over. So maybe I'm camping. Maybe it's not the Miasma. It's maybe, it's, maybe he's just so tough mentally because he's just been broken down over and over and over again, and now he's just on a different level. I don't know, but in, I, I, in my head canon, I want it to be the Miasma. More than a hand this time. Our goddess has shown her lips for the first time. Oh my god. Yo. That's different. Usually she just comes in going, ee, ee, but this time, what's she whispering in my ear? I love you? No, I don't know. What's she whispering? I don't know how to fucking, you know, read it. Like, she loves Subaru, right? Ligma. Don't you? Rem sucks. I love Amelia. I love Satala. What's she saying? <laughs> Yes, you reek. Alright, thank you. Shamak, Shamak, Shamak? Is he talking about Shamak right now? <laughs> Al Shuma was tiny blades of ice. Urushuma is big pillar. So does this mean the Ul series of magic is just better? Someone, you know, mentioned that Al was actually better than Ul before, but I don't know. I'm just seeing Ul being mentioned. I see bigger ice. I see Al being mentioned smaller ice. I don't know. Oh. Well, oh. <laughs> they, got a, they also have a breath attack. Hetaro and Mimi breath attack, sick? <laughs> Ricardo! Nice! Yo, they all learn from the Wilhelm strat. Yeah, just drag that baby, put the sword in there and fucking run. <laughs> it's got more? <laughs> Bro sounded like Chion from fucking Wistoria recently. How dare you not look at me for 14 years? I'm obsessed about you! Here's my love! Very durable, yeah. What? Why? Are we... Is a phase 3 coming? Is a phase... Because this is phase 2 right now. But Wilhelm, you telling me something that it refers to phase 3? Okay, I'm gonna assume that the true power has sh yet to be shown yet. Oh shit! Who won't cast them? Get it! He's so sick! Literally falls off, even has a fucking smart line to say, I'll be taking a part and gift of my will out. Gets the fucking fin? I'm not sure what this is.
What is that? Nice catch. That land drag is so clutch. I, I think that the mobility of the Rigers that the uh, Kararagi army is riding on and the land dragons that we're riding on, these dudes, without it, this battle cannot happen. Like, this mobility, the way that the land dragon has caught Wilhelm every fucking time, Ricardo is only able to do that because of the Rigers, bro. Like, these, these mounts doing, it's like, it's like, it's like half the work. <laughs> Now what? They come on, I can return my death one more time. <laughs> Taunt it. It's happening. Wait. A single flower. The flower, remember that the right that his his wife loved, bro. This is looking like a fucking death. <laughs> like if any other moment, like this should be the moment Wilhelm dies, bro. Like the you have all the flashback and the component of the flashback is shown at this moment. Oh my god. <gasps> no, not <Me> like this. <gasps> oh. Wilhelm! No, don't give up. More backstory. Please, what Wilhelm. Please, Wilhelm, don't die on me. So, What's your dream, Wilhelm? What's he protecting, though? Does he even know? Village on fire. Oh shit. This is this the song. This is the song that made me cry. It's, it's a chain of memories when Sibor is getting tortured. <laughs> Wilhelm getting attacked by a bunch of beast people? <gasps> so sweet. To the animation there. Yeah, she's a Von Austria. The way that she shows up, everything split, and then the flutter of the hair is such sick animation. So, so a long time ago, she saved him. His village was on fire. Everything's getting fucked up. The sword saint showed up. This is actually their first meeting. And he saw how strong she was and how powerless he was. But he tried to be as strong as her, right? Trying to protect something. Damn, she caught that one hand. Mm -hmm. Full title. Is it a different meaning? He's asking, were you laughing at me? As in the first time? I'm not sure. Flower bed happened. His, fa his family got fucked up. And then they met? I'm not really sure. So slick. Yeah, I guess based on the dialogue, like, she saved him after they met. And when you're laughing at me, well, this is his wrath, right? This, you're laughing at yourself. Is this, is this a little bit of himself, like, projecting his own insecurities again? It seems like they've known each other a long time, but then she showed up and saved him. And now... The girl that was just looking at flowers was actually this strong this entire time, right? And he's kind of getting prideful. Yeah, there's a little bit of pride there. There's a lot of... Like, this could be just Subaru, you know? Maybe Wilhelm sees his younger self in Subaru. And that's why... Well, he was... Even in the beginning, like, Wilhelm and Subaru's relationship was pretty good. So slick. Sleight of hands. No. That sounds just like Subaru. Mm. Damn. I had the wrong idea of how like this all started this is so angry right like she was she was given the responsibility of sourcing simply because she's born from the von Astra family they're all fucking gingers and they're godlike with the sword right he feels like insecure about his own power he thinks that she was laughing at him this entire time that she was just checking out the flowers but as she showed up and saved him she's like damn were you laughing at me all this time but he's more angry at his own lack of strength and now I will take your sword from you. I don't care about the rule bestowed upon the sword saints. 
Don't you dare look down on taking up the sword or the beauty of her steel blade. But I don't think she's necessarily looking down on it, right? It's more a miscommunication. It's, it's like, I've devoted my entire life to this thing, yet I'm this weak, but you're so strong and you don't even fucking want this. I will take that title away from you. But after this part, I'm sure they got to bond a little bit more together and realize that it's not really like that. And at the end, it was out of love that he took the title from her, is what I'm getting at. <laughs> Damn. I mean, even Wilhelm fumbled the bag a long, long time ago, you know? This is like Amelia dropping Subaru off. There's so much parallels with old Wilhelm, huh? And Subaru. That's why he's maybe a little bit more nicer to him. I don't know, but everything he just said here, it could totally have been like Subaru. <laughs> Is there OVA? Is there any animation of Wilhelm and Teresia that we can farm? Or is it all just light novel content? Because this, this is fucking, yeah, we got to do ASMR content that we can't yell anymore. It's, it's two minutes 50 after my, uh, <laughs> you know, quiet hours. No, only light. Dude, they should make a fucking movie out of it. They should, like, memory snow. Straight up, they could just do it, bro. Wilhelm! Really? No. Really? Oh. <laughs> Ricardo! Ricardo! <laughs> we just lost two of our strongest people. Wilhelm and Ricardo. Oh yeah, I feel phase three is about to show up. Well, actually, I don't know. It looks like the Riger is split in half, but I can't see Ricardo. All I see is blood. <laughs> Ricardo dead. <laughs> this whale's tail is not this whale's. There's. Uh, unless this whale is big. Because I see the head here and I see the tail here, but I don't think this is t together. How many is there? Three motherfuckers for phase three. <laughs> what? What the fuck do we do? What the fuck do we? We lose Wilhelm. We lose Ricardo. Every of our armies is all fucked up. And there's three fucking whales. You know what? I didn't honestly expect the subjugation to be cleared in one run. Cause like, think about it, right? Think about it. Is it realistic to be able to just do this raid in one run? No. I, honestly, I'd expect multiple tries, right? But like, it is kind of impressive that we made it this far. Even though it looks bad right now, the fact that in one single run that we got this far, that's pretty impressive. And we could just regress and try again. But the people hit by the fog... I don't think they're going to be able to be part of our army because they would just forget about them. And I'm, I'm not sure. Well, no. No, 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 no. They remembered Rem. Even though she got hit by the fog last time. Felix remembered Rem. So maybe it's different. This episode, man. Fucking hype. So hype. Wilhelm von Austria. This guy is a legend. The entire. Dude, I actually got chills in the beginning when everybody was straight up. Disperse. Krush literally saying, nah, we got our man. Disperse army. Let the dude fucking go in. And then he just goes in and just fuck shit up. The funniest animation is when he has the sword embedded on the whale and just fucking runs, bro. So hype. Of course, he's not going to be as strong as Reinhardt, right? But he is still a Von Austria. And he's obviously super old. But like, dude, he's doing like the most fucking DPS. The light cannons were sick. Mimi is pretty sick, right? Very cute, very funny. Crucia's sword, the phantom sword, all range win. That's some fucking bullshit. Pretty strong, but I don't think it's too OP. It's just like a very long range sword. I wonder if there's like extra uses on it, right? And then the fog. What do we know? If you get hit by the fog, you are forgotten. That's what happened last time. And that's why 
Teresia is not forgotten, right? Because she didn't die getting hit by the fog. And that makes a lot of sense. The Wilhelm and Teresia backstory being overlapped with this episode, it's a little anxious because, again, this is just prime death, like, flag material. And even though Wilhelm got bit at the end there, I could totally see him pull some bullshit out and like cut the whale from inside and come out because of a Giga Chad like him. Like I could totally see that. So I'm not going to count him out just yet. But if he dies, it's totally understandable because again, so many death flags, so many things that he said before the war even started. The whale has like this uh, sound, uh, basically conquers hockey. Not really. Uh, most people are affected by it, but though some people aren't, there's probably some level of like innate resistance to this buff. And I'm not sure if it has to do with how much hardships you face in your life. And I'm not sure if Subaru is, you know, uh, not affected by it because he suffered so much and he's gained this tolerance. Or it's the my Witch's Miasma, which I hope it's the Witch's Miasma. It's really interesting to see how Subaru can be useful, even though he, he can't really fight, you know? Like, he doesn't do anything. He has Shamak. He has Return by Death's AoE Taunt. He has, like, a, what's it called? Fucking uh, the Nokia flip phone, you know, uh, the, the flashlight thing. And this time, when he called on Satala's name, well, he didn't really, but he said return, he did return by that. We saw her lip, bro. She got that purple fucking lipstick. The more we use it, the more of her we get to see. I wonder what she said here. Maybe she says, I love Amelia. I remember that motherfucker. You should have said, I love Satala there. And then the rest is history. Wilhelm trips the biggest flag and basically says, this ain't the whale that defeated my wife. You're goddamn right. There's three more fucking whales. And regarding the whole Wilhelm and um, uh, Theresa thing, so this is my interpretation, right? A long time ago, they met. And Wilhelm didn't think anything of the girl because she just liked flowers, but he kept training. Then his village was under attack. Theresa saved him as a sword saint. He felt insecure about his lack of power, but also the fact that she never said anything about the sword to him, saying, are you laughing at me? And then she also shows how much she doesn't care about the sword because, again, that's a responsibility thrown to her. And Wilhelm, at that time, just like prideful Subaru, takes it upon himself as, are you, like, don't you dare, you know, disrespect, you know, this love of the steel, like, how much effort that I put this shit in. It's a kind of a rocky start, the relationship, but I'm sure it gets better with more due time. I would love to see more about them. Maybe there's extra light novel content or some different video essays, you know, that explains this more, but that's fucking fantastic. And, bro, here... Again, that single fucking flower being there it was the biggest fucking troll. It's the same fucking flower in the flashback. It just shows up when he's literally on last stand and he, the whale scoops him up. I still don't want to believe that, you know, he's dead here. But Ricardo, uh, I think he's pretty much splat, right? We don't see anything other than just like a pool of blood. But I still don't see Ricardo's party. Maybe it's just all covered by the blood, but I'm not sure. Things are looking pretty bad, and if we have to restart, totally understandable. But that's it for me. If you're still here, though, and if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlists for more content. And until next time, take care.